Welcome back friends, welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today in this video lecture we are going to talk about Brucella agar media. Now this is actually a selective media as well as non-selective media as well. And this media is specially used to cultivate the Brucella species as well as the fastidious microbes. Because uh, this media contain all the ingredients which are needed for the fastidious as well as for non fastidious bacteria as well. Let's talk that uh, for what purpose we use this type of media. This type of media is specially used for the isolation of Brucella species, Campylobacter, and other fastidious organisms like Streptococcus pneumonia, Streptococcus viridian, Neisseria meningitis. All these microorganisms. These are actually food poisoning microorganisms and we mostly isolate it from the food items now then uh, with the addition of blood remember guys when the blood is added into this medium so then this medium become uh, blood agar medium because we also say that brucella uh, is also what it is also a blood agar medium as well then we have uh, uh, the addition of 5% of horse blood when we use it so remember guys due to this way we can easily isolate the fastidious as well as non-fastidious microorganism from clinical as well as non-clinical specimens now let's talk about the composition of this media so remember guys this media contain enzymatic digest of casein as well as animal tissue so both are needed 10 to 10 gram then we have any cell which are needed 5 gram distal water needed 1 liter agar needed for 15 gram and we have yeast extract 2 gram, dextrose 1 gram and sodium biosulfate needed 0.1 gram. These are the most important ingredients. Now let's talk about the principle of this media that what are the importance of the ingredients that are available in the medium. So this Brucella agar as we talk that it can specially used for the fastidious as well as non fastidious organism. So due to the presence of peptone, dextrose, yeast extract the fastidious microorganism can be easily grow now remember guys the peptone like animal digest of casein and uh, tissue animal tissue so it will provide our nitrogen as well as we have yeast extract that can provide vitamin B complex and dactrose that can provide energy source so using this important ingredient the bacteria will grow and divide it then we have sodium bisulfate that is acting as a reducing agent. We have sodium chloride that specially used to maintain the osmotic equilibrium means uh, uh, the material which is needed for the bacteria will ease the uptake and if they do not need the material so they will expel out it. So this is osmotic balance which is done by the sodium chloride. We have agar which is acting as a solidifying agent that specially used to provide a stable environment through which the bacteria grow in the form of colony. Now how we prepare this media remember guys we have Brucella agar so then take uh, 43 gram of the Brucella agar in and dissolve in 1 liter of the distilled water or purified water. After that we will heat and boil it for 1 minute due to which the media will completely dissolve after heat mixing then the meter will be autoclaved at 1.1 degree celsius for 15 minutes after autoclaving the media will be poured into sterilized petri plate at a temperature of 50 degree celsius then streak the bacterial colony uh, using aseptic technique then incubate the plates at 37 degree celsius for 24 hours so this is how we can prepare and use the media now what type of bacteria which are easily grow on this media as this media specially provide the growth for the fastidious as well as non fastidious organisms so we have e coli clepsella pseudomonas all the type of the bacteria can be easily grow in this media but remember guys just like on blood agar medium what type of colony we get so the same colony we also get on this media because there is no differences in this media 
but we mostly use this meter for the bracella and that's why we can also say that this is the selective meter for the bracella but due to the addition of the blood agar is peptone and other material it will be also uh, you know utilized for the uh, h influenza pseudomonas staph aureus nizirum meningitis and listeria the rest of the bacteria which i do not write here because uh, they have the same colonies which i already explained in the previous videos lecture so remember guys if you want to see the other bacterial colonies so you can check it into uh, blood agar as well as on chocolate agar medium because they have the same characteristics that's why i didn't write it here so these are the most important bacteria which can showing the best characteristics on this media first of all we have a brucella that can show a luxuriant transparent raised convex with entire edge smooth and silver shiny colonies then we have a uh, uh, h influenza that are colorless moist gray colonies we have pseudomonas large flat colonies that are gray to white colored we have staphylococcus uh, streptococcus pyogenes that are white grayish colored colony nazira uh, meningitis have gray so what we actually get from the whole we get that most all the bacteria having the same means gray color colony but a little bit of differences is just that uh, uh, some have uh, you know uh, uh, light gray colony some have dark gray colony some have shiny gray colony some have moist gray colony just a little bit differences there but the color of all the bacteria have the same now elastira monocytogenes have colorless colony let me show the colonies of these bacteria so as you can see the first picture is showing the elastira monocytogenes that are colorless colonies then this is the brucella species most of the brucella species will be showing this type of the colony very small uh, round uh, and luxuriant growth of the bacteria of brucella uh, hemophilia hemophilia influenza have also moist colony as you can see this is the colonies of the pseudomonas uh, sorry streptococcus pyogenes that can creating a hollow layers or hollow zones as you can see then we have pseudomonas as you can see very smooth and uh, irregular uh, round irregular colonies so that's all about the brucella agar i hope you guys get idea about that thanks for watching